It's a funny one. It's really debatable. As soon as you put it into the world, it become, belongs to everybody. And music has always been a shared thing. The majority of people go, well, I'm home now, and I want it now. Download. Piracy's a funny old word, isn't it? At first I was all like, oh, you can't steal money from the artists. Don't illegally download stuff. But then I thought, hang on, that's pretty hypocritical, because back in the day, we weren't buying songs if we didn't have enough money to buy them, and as kids we didn't. But we used to tape things, and I guess in a way that was a form of early piracy, despite the fact that we weren't making money from it. We used to be everyone jumping down the throats of people who were getting a CD and then burning it to another CD and then photocopying the cover and then selling it. That seems to be a bad form of piracy. But if you burn a CD from your friend and listen to it yourself, I think that's still piracy, not sure. But that doesn't seem that bad. To me, that's just someone who can't afford the music getting to experience the music. If my music was pirated, it's not a big issue for me because I'm aiming for exposure. I'm trying to get my music out there still. You can charge $15 for your CD and sell 30. You can give them away for free and get rid of 100. But that's 70 more people who are listening to your music. I would be actually quite flattered <laughs> if someone wanted to steal my music. And if someone wanted to buy it, I'd be even more flattered. If you put the record out, somebody goes, I'm going to tell 100 people about this and 100 people say, so I'm going to give this record to 100 people. All of a sudden you've got this viral profile build internationally and you put a show on and 600 people turn up. Well, that's because your music was pirated. Hallelujah, brother. These days, send a message to everyone on Facebook. Bang, 5,000 people know about your, your gig. It's so different. And getting discovered these days is different. You can put something up on YouTube and it can become a, a mimetic sensation and all of a sudden a record company will go, why has this dude got 500,000 hits in the last three hours? Let's sign him! But a band like, for example, I'll go back to U2, they'll make money from their recordings but they make more money from their tour. They were making money on every single one of those people getting inspired enough to go and buy a mug, a t-shirt, a key ring and they were raking it in from merch. That's it, they'll always find a way. 100,000 people buying a t-shirt for $40 each. If you could do maths, you'd work that out. And of course, you know, if you're able to cultivate true fans, you might only have a thousand of them, but those 1,000 true fans might be enough to sustain your ongoing career. I would be doing things like what Björk is currently doing, and she's realised, yes, you, can, you could sell the album, or you could make your album an app. She's just gone, what's the broadest market in the world right now? iPhone users. Let's make a record that people can buy on their iPhones. That's forward thinking. That's thinking about what's the technology that's there today, what's going to encourage people to not just download the album for free, but want to immerse themselves in it in a more, like that's enticing to me. I want that. So it only hurts me if I don't adapt and find a way to survive. The great thing about today's world and social media is that they can take so much control back for themselves. And that to me is a fantastic example of just changing your mindset slightly, evolving with the times. Dudes are gonna download it for free, so let them. Because once they've bought into you as an artist, you'll have them for life. They will support you. They will buy your albums instead of illegally downloading them when they're absolutely in love with you. It really doesn't faze me hugely because the point of me being an artist is to perform to them and give them something. All that matters to me is if I can keep doing that. I don't think putting the shackles on the pirates <laughs> is the best idea, no. I used to sort of be angry about the idea of piracy but now I'm like, nah, the world has to change. So for artists I would suggest if people are going to steal your tracks let them steal it, but be savvy about it. I say to the major labels, suck it up. Just learn to deal with it, evolve with it. It's, it is exciting, it really is exciting. So I don't know if piracy is as bad as everyone who thinks it's bad is making it out to be.